The Eve Dorn window is a contact sensor, so it just senses when the two pieces are near each other and when they're not. This information can be translated in a number of ways. You can use it to track when a door is open or closed. Same for a window or anything else you can think of. Maybe they should have named it Eve Door and Window or anything else you can think of. Anyway, as with all HomeKit products, setup is generally pretty easy, assuming everything works. You can just scan the barcode, add a name, and designate its location, and that's it. After you have it added to HomeKit, all you have to do is stick the two pieces onto something. For example, for a door, one piece would go on the wall and the other piece would go on the door. You just have to make sure that when they're in the closed position, they're close enough that the sensors work. In some cases, the two pieces may not line up exactly. So Eve includes a handful of little spacers you can use to make things work. I wasn't feeling great about just sticking it to my door because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it on the door that I put it on. Once installed, I was pleasantly surprised at how unnoticeable it is. I haven't really thought about it at all, which is a good thing. I found the range on this to be a little larger than I would have guessed also. My sensors have a pretty decent gap between them and it still works, it works great. All of this is powered by a weird little half size battery that until I had this product I've never seen before. And it's supposed to last you at least a year. It's important to position the piece with the battery in it so you're able to actually slide it open and access the battery so you can replace it. The next part is where you'll need to define what you want to do with this sensor. Maybe that's all there is to it for you. You could just use this to check and alert you if a door or window is open or closed. Either can be accomplished by looking in the Eve app or the Home app. Or you can take things further and make an automation. For example, I put this on my back door where I let my dog out. So right now I have it set up if it's after sunset and I open the back door, then the light turns on in the backyard. And this has worked every time I've opened the door and it works really well. Part of that is thanks to thread, which is built into the Eve door and window. This is how I've been using it. Otherwise you have to use Bluetooth, which I don't think I would recommend because it will be really slow. As I mentioned, the automation that I have set up has worked reliably since I installed the product, but I don't know that in this case, it's better than turning on the light switch mainly because the light switch in this instance is right next to the door, but also because there's no good way to have the light turn off. I could have it turn off after a time limit, but I don't know how long my dog will be outside. I could have it turn off when the door is closed, but then I have to leave it open the whole time. So I'll probably end up finding a new home for this. If you don't already have a HomeKit garage door controller, for example, I've seen some people use this as a sensor for their garage door, which seems like a good idea, mainly because it's so reliable. Or maybe you wanna have your thermostat turn off when you open a window and then back on when you close a window. Even using it as a way to prevent a freezer from being left open by having it send open and close alerts. All of these are ways that you can use the Eve door and window and it will work great. These use cases are just going to be very specific to a person's setup. I think that the Eve door and window is a fantastic product made by a company that is invested in HomeKit. I haven't had any functional issues with mine since I've been using it. The only issue I've had is that I haven't found the perfect use for it in my smart home. And I don't think that everyone will. I just wanted to let you know that Eve did send me the door and window at no charge. There were no strings attached and I'm free to do with it whatever I want to. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and thanks for watching.